Hi friends, thank you for being here with me to do some drawing today. So, I uh, hope you're all doing okay, hope you're all doing well. And remember, you can use the chat to talk amongst yourselves, just tell each other how you're feeling, tell each other where you're from, and how your day is going, and just generally how things are, given everything that's going on right now. And I think this is a great thing to do together to sit down and do a little drawing. It's a meditative kind of a thing. It makes you feel good. It's always great to create something, to make something out of nothing. It makes you feel amazing. I hope that when all of this uh, is, is not necessarily past us, because we need this right now, we need some change, some positive change, but I hope we can find some pockets of time to enjoy each other's company and to have parties. Parties are great. It's great to get together with friends and to celebrate life. And, um, you know, I was told once that all the monsters love to get together and have parties, but they never invite Dracula. And I was wondering, why is that? You know, maybe he's just a huge pain in the neck. All right, let's do some drawing together now. All you need is a pencil, a pen, a crayon, a marker, or a little stick that you can dip in some barbecue sauce and draw with. And then you can draw on the paper that you have, cardboard, um, you could draw on your brother's t-shirt. It doesn't matter. But let's get going, because this is a good one today. We've got something really fun to draw. And I want to just check in while you're getting your materials together and say hello to those in the chat. So who do we have here today? Miguel. Steven, Sam, John, Clever. Oh, I wish I had a name like Clever. That's a great name. Vanessa and Donna, thank you all for being here. And I'm glad you like that joke, Miguel. You know, I work really hard on those. Uh, no, I don't. All right, now it's time for us to get to do some drawing. So here we go. Now, when we do these drawings, we always do a straight line like that. Sometimes we do a little zigzag like that okay and sometimes we do a nice curvilinear line right and that's all you need to do these drawings now to start this one off today we're going to do a straight line and it's going to look a little something like this down we go all right step number one is complete you all can do that right you can draw a line does it have to be perfectly straight no it could be a little angled like that it could be a little angled like that it could be a little wobbly we don't care all right these drawings are casual, right? We're gonna take it easy to do these drawings. All right, next step, watch carefully, here we go. We're gonna do a C curve. Now the C curves I do sometimes look like this, sometimes they look like that, sometimes they kind of look like that. And now this one is gonna come out and then kind of go straight down, All right? So watch this. I go out and then kind of straight down like that. All right. So far, so good, right? Now we're gonna draw a line at a diagonal and it's gonna go like this. We're gonna draw down about like that. And that line I just drew is about the same length as the first line we drew. This is something that artists are always considering when they're drawing. They're thinking about how long a line is compared to a line they've already made. This helps you to measure accurately when you draw. It also really helps to see things in a different way when you're drawing pictures than how you normally see things. You know, when I look at something like a car, I look at it and I say, well, how big is that tire compared to the entire height of the car? Is it about one quarter, 25% of the total height of the car? Maybe, you know, something like a fifth? And then, well, what falls about halfway when I look at that car horizontally? Is it the bottom of the window? You know, things like that help you to see what you're drawing in a different way. All right, so enough of that silly malarkey there. Let's draw another line. Here comes a C curve, and it's going to go a little something like this. It's going to start here and going to curve down to where we had just finished that other line. All right. Speaking of measurement, though, I look at the length of this line, and I'm going to draw it again and keep it going the same direction. See that? And about the same length. I know you can do this. I know you can do this. This is something we all can do. Look and measure and look and measure. 
it can be done. Now I'm going to look at it again, and I'm going to draw another line that's going to be about the same length, only a tiny bit shorter. Just a tiny bit. Watch. Here we go. And I'll stop about there. See that? So what we've done is we made one long line, but we did it in steps. We did it in stages so that we could get it to be about the right length. Today's drawing, like all the drawings we do, no matter how you do it, it's probably going to turn out looking pretty good. Okay, But it is important with this one to get our measurements fairly accurate. And that's why we're doing these things in steps. All right, now, as always in the chat, let me know if I'm going too fast or too slowly. Something happened with the video there. Anybody? I'll get some tech support on that. All right, here comes another easy step. Watch this. Straight out this way, a little line. Look how tiny that is. Good gracious, that's a tiny one. It's a little itty bitty line. Straight out like that, just a little bump. That's all that is. All right, I'm going to come straight down now. And look at this. The first, the first line we do right there, I'm going to draw a line that's a little shorter than that. Watch. I'm going to come straight down to about there. All righty. So how does that compare to that first line? It's a little longer than half of it, right? A little longer than half, maybe two-thirds. Boy, I'm talking about a lot of fractions today. Did you know math was so important in drawing? I bet you did not. Or maybe you did. I don't know what you know. You all are a smart bunch. You know a lot of things. All right, now look at the length of that line. Okay, now I'm just going to come out in this direction from left to right, and I'm going to draw a line about the same length. And here it goes, like that. Okay, simple. And now here comes another little line, and this is going to be another straight line following about the same angle as this line here. See this one right here? Alrighty, and here it comes. We just go like this. Zip! That's it. Alrighty, next we are going to do a, another diagonal line and it's going to be the same length as this one. Ready? Down we go and we stop right about there. Look where I stopped. I stopped under where this line breaks into a diagonal. See that? Not bad. All right, and now here comes another diagonal line. Watch this. We're going to go up and stop right about there. Okay. Now, more measurements. So much measurement. Kyle, can we stop with the measurements? No, we can't because we're learning how to draw by seeing and measuring and comparing. This is all really good stuff, folks. It's going to serve you well for your entire life if you keep drawing. Even if you don't, you'll observe the world differently. That's always a good thing. Get a new perspective on things. All right, see this curvilinear line that we made here? This little guy. All right, now if I were to just pretend that I was going to keep on drawing, now don't do this on your paper, but watch me. Imagine if I was going to keep drawing at that angle, okay? See that? Imagine if this line just kept on going like that. I'm going to mark a spot right here, okay? So look, I'm going to pretend it's going, right? And I'm going to go lower than here, right? Not there, but a little lower. So I'm going to come down here about here, and I'm going to say, bam, make a little dot for yourself. This is a trick we use a lot. We make a dot on the page, and then we aim for that dot, right? So then I can connect these two like that. There's your next step. And you follow that up with a C curve that looks like this. C curve. Okay, should I do it again? C curve. Alrighty. Kind of the same size as that C curve, isn't it? They're pretty similar, aren't they? Alrighty. By now you may have figured out what we're drawing. Maybe, maybe not. All right, here comes a really fun one. Now, imagine if I were to take this line and draw it through, okay, through behind here. So I'm just going to come out this way like that. And then I'm going to start to curve down and curve down. See this? I'm curving and curving. Stop about there. That's a nice long curve, All right? And I did it in steps. You don't have to do it all in one pass. That's not important, is it? Alrighty. Now, next step, 
I want you to see this line right here, the very first one we drew, and I'm gonna C curve it like that. Do it one more time, watch. C curve, okay? I'm gonna follow that up with another C curve, watch. C curve, this one's bigger. And finally, one more C curve like that. Okay. And now up here in between these two lines, I'm gonna go one, two, and then another one over here, one, and then over here, one, two, right? That's an interesting looking pattern. Hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. People say horse, 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 horse. Bingo, but not just any horse gang because watch this next line because this is gonna give it all away. I'm gonna come up and stop about there and then right back down and look at that. My goodness, it's not just a horse, is it? It's a unicorn. Here comes an extra line right there for the mane. What about that ear behind the horn? Well, watch this. Up we go and down we go. There's another ear back there, it's tucked away. And now we need to give him a little nostril. So here it comes. I'm gonna go zig and zag. Look how easy that is. A little zig up and a little zag across, right? Zig zag, you can do it. All right, this unicorn needs a little eyeball. And before we do that eyeball, we're gonna take a line and we're gonna come right here where this break is and come straight up for a moment like that. And then I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna follow that up, okay? I'm gonna leave a break and follow up a little bit, like so, all right? And then I'm going to draw a line back like that. And then here comes a C curve, C curve. See that? And then C curve inside. And there I'm gonna color in that pupil. Very nice. Okay, well what about the front of the neck? Remember that first line we drew right here? Well, it comes straight down from there. I'm gonna come straight down from there. And then I'm going to come straight down and curve. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, last little step is put some lines on that horn, okay? and one little line droop, on the ear. And from this point forward, it is your drawing to do with as you please. Decorate the unicorn, draw the whole body of the unicorn, draw a setting for the unicorn, some clouds, a rainbow, a forest, right? A Walmart, whatever you like, it doesn't matter. But this is your drawing to do with as you please. And I'm gonna slide the unicorn over here because now it is time for what is it? Now this is when I draw something and you have to just tell me what it is that I'm drawing. Now, as always with these drawings, I like to make them very simple, and I like for you to say, oh, I know what that is right away, because that's the point. These are just simple little guessing games, and I promise I'm not here to fool you. I would never do that, it's not in my nature. I'm, I'm just here to be helpful and show you something fun. So, let's see. I'm gonna go like this, and like that, okay? And then I'm gonna go down like this. All right, now pay attention, because we're gonna go up like that, and then we're gonna go across like that. And then we're gonna do this. We're just gonna go, watch, 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 watch. Everybody, whoop, like that. And then we go like this. We go, ba-bump, ba-bump. Now, come on. Once again, I've drawn something so simple, there's no way you won't be able to guess what it is. I know for sure. You're gonna see it and say, I know what that is. And then we can just move on to the animal and activity game, right? So I'll look in the chat and see what you think it is. Tell me what I just drew. And let's take a look. Eric says, an apple. An apple. It does look like an apple. Great guess. Mm -hmm. Donna is waving at Eric. That's nice. Katrina says, apple. Again. Excellent guess. Sure looks like, it looks like an apple to me, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would not try and fool you. That's not what I do, right? I'm here to educate and help. Pomegranate, also great. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, gosh, I hate to do this, but I'm afraid that once again, even though these are good guesses, they're not right. 
And for those of you who've been hanging out with me for a while, you'll know what's going to happen here because I'm going to take this apple and just turn it around for a second, okay? And show you actually what this is because for those of you who've seen this show before, you're going to recognize this character. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's back, folks. Oh no. He's back. Ah, uh, there he is again. It's the old sea dog. The old sea captain. I don't know how he always sneaks his way into these drawings. It just seems like he, he's impossible to avoid. See? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry, folks. I, I try not to have him show up as much as he does, but it's kind of like this unavoidable thing. He just wants to get himself stuck into all my drawings. And there's not much I can do about it, so... Listen, maybe next time... Maybe next time it'll be different, and um, it'll be something that we all know. All right, I thought it was an apple too, but no, it's that, it's that old sea captain again. He just can't stay out of my drawings. What can I tell you? Um, there he is. Well, let's move him over here. And let's make room for the animal and activity. Because this is where you give me an animal doing something strange, something funny, something unexpected, and I will draw that. So in the chat, you make a suggestion, and I will draw whatever you say. I, I, as crazy as it is, I will make it happen. Yesterday, we had an ostrich playing tennis. How about that? Uh, so whatever it is, I'm just going to watch and see what you come up with. This is the part where you tell me what to draw. An animal doing something strange, doing something funny. Um, but maybe it could be something normal. Only it's something that's normal for humans, but not animals, right? If a hamster is sitting and reading the newspaper, that's probably not what we'd expect. So that could be a fun drawing. And whatever it happens to be, I will draw it. And I got all this space over here on my page to draw that, right? All right, so I'm going to take this guy and shrink him down a little bit. And then I'm going to read your suggestions. Let's see what we have. A unicorn is very sad that it's not an apple. Oh, poor unicorn. A gorilla reading a newspaper. Steven, you always suggest that one. I might have to do it. A wombat dancing. What does a wombat look like? I'm so sorry to tell you I don't know. I don't know. I have to look that one up now. Uh, hmm. Yasunari says, sorry I don't know. I'm French. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I, missed, I must have missed that comment. A large snake playing a harp. Ooh, how would a snake do that? A sloth roller skating. Oh, that's fun. A sloth roller skating. I might want to do that one, Marco. I don't think I've drawn a sloth before. I can sort of see their face in my mind. Um, yeah, I can kind of see what they look like in my brain. It's a tough one. A monkey grabbing a ship not to go away, says John. So preventing a ship from leaving. An octopus playing a marimba. A marimba. Is that the instrument with mallets? Or is it played by hand? I wish I knew. I don't know. I play saxophone, by the way. Not very well, but I do enjoy playing it. Playing an instrument is another nice thing to do. To just breathe a little and give your mind a little escape. Right? Playing music is great. A ballerina fox. That's cool. Turtles drinking vino. A Great Dane dressed as Sherlock Holmes. That's cool, too. I like that. Um, all right. Well, these are all great suggestions. Um, I'm leaning towards... Uh, I'm leaning towards the sloth roller skating. I feel like it's a challenge for me to try and draw sloth without any reference. Um, what do their faces look like? I know they've got an oblong head. Hmm, that's a challenging one. Centipede playing a saxophone. Steve! You might have rescued me there from having to draw a sloth I can't draw. All right, tell you what, keep the sloth on the back burner. Here comes the centipede. Great suggestions to all. 
Thank you, everybody. Now, what do I do? I need to come up with some space to draw this. So the centipede coming to da 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 da, yada yada yada. Alrighty, and there's the head. Okay. And he's gonna be grooving on that saxophone, right? He's got those little pincers up at the top. There is the space for the saxophone. There's the bell of the horn there. And da -da -da -da, we've got to have some keys there. There's one arm, another one coming out from there. And then we're just going to have the others maybe playing other keys. And then as we go down, we've got to put some other. You know, my son told me something, a fact about centipedes not too long ago. Something really fascinating that they, they, they don't have a hundred legs. They have fewer, I think. Something like that. Somebody help me out in the chat with the, the facts, the centipede facts, if you can. Um, I'm not an expert, but I just remember him telling me something about that. And, you know, most of my life I thought, hey, centipedes have a hundred legs. Otherwise, why would they be called that, right? But it's not true. They don't. They have fewer than a hundred. Alrighty. There, we got arms coming out both sides. And let's move that over there. Actually, I'm going to curl that tail up like this. That's what I'm going to do. Ba boom And then have those legs coming out like that. All right, and there is our sketcheroo. And now I'm going to try and draw this centipede. And we'll see how we do. OK? This is the part where I have to draw lines that are much more confident than my sketch. So what I do is I knock it back a little bit. You can still see it, but it's much lighter. And then I grab that darker color I was drawing with before. And we come over, and we make it happen. So centipede is going to groove on. Oh, I know. Watch this. Watch this. You can always change your mind, right? I got to give him some sunglasses hanging off the front. That's just funnier. There. Whoop. Come this way. And then we're going to do this and that. And we put those funny pincer things, whatever they are. I don't know. I don't have a picture of a centipede in front of me, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go, right? Who knows? One segmented arm. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Now I gotta set myself up to draw a bunch of these. Woohoo! I'm gonna run out of time, gang. Well, this is where we just have to go zippy, zippy, and make it happen. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Gotta bring on the zip. Okay, we come out this way, we come around. There's that octave key right there. Boom, boom. Put some keys on that saxophone and on there we go little bits and pieces popping out here and there ah the complexity of the instrument don't have time to figure all that out right now my apologies and then around we go for the bell bam playing some good old fashioned American jazz gang how about that how about that Okay, come down, and then we bump around that way. <whistles> Will he make it? The clock is ticking. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm just going to have to sign off and say thanks, everybody, for hanging out. But sometimes that's what happens. And up we go and back. One more set of legs on that side. 
And then I think we're in pretty good shape. What do you think about that? Let's check it out. Hey, not bad, folks. Not bad. All righty. Well, you've done it again. You've spent some time drawing with me. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. I hope you're all safe and well. And everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And remember, um, the most important thing is to be kind. So I'll see you all again next time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Everybody stay safe. See you tomorrow.